Hi, my lovelies. I'm Lily and welcome back to my YouTube channel, My Lily Land. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my experience after meditating 30 days in a row. But first things first, what is meditation? Meditation is an exercise for your mind. It's like working out for your body in order to become healthier, fitter, and stronger. But this time would be for your mind. There is nothing new when I'm talking about the benefits of meditating. It can help preventing anxiety, stress, depression. It has more than 50 proven health benefits. It can lower your blood pressure and also it can strengthen your immunity system. It can reduce heart attacks, strokes. It can reduce also the risk of cancer and any heart disease. It grows the areas of your brain related to self-control, ability to pay attention, and also it can improve your memory and in general it makes you perform better for example it improves your reactions as i said before memory as well it increases empathy compassion it promotes forgiveness meditation can also increase your creativity it brings you more positivity into your life and improves your sleep the goal of meditating is not letting your mind go blank. The goal of meditating is helping you how to react to your own thoughts. And how do you meditate? If you are a first timer, I would recommend using a meditation app such as Calm, Headspace, Balance. These are not sponsored for, from any of these ones. I'm using at the moment Balance. I can show you how does it work. So basically, this is not sponsored. This is my own. I just got it because it was um, kind of promotion. So I have an annual subscription on this app and it has a lot of plans. Oh, I don't know if it can. So you can see here all the options for anxiety, for it can be for communication, productivity, energy, and also it can help you to, to sleep. Ay, ay, ay. Actually, this app changed my life. Again, this is no sponsor. So if you're a first timer, apart from using an app, you can also watch any video, guided video, guided meditation video that you can seek on YouTube. But maybe the easiest way is to sit down. Well, you can sit down or just lay down and just uh, meditate for five minutes. For first timers, I would recommend just sitting or even, even laying down and to focus on your breath. So basically when I started, I was using the app and it has, you can choose the length of the meditation. It can be from five minutes up to 30 minutes, maybe, depending. So you can sit on the chair, on the floor, on your bed, whatever, and just focus on your breath. I recommend for first timers just to do five minutes. Otherwise, if you're like me, I'm so impatient. I don't have patience. Actually, I was skeptical about meditation because I know that my mind was always thinking about something and it's a non-stop thinking about everything. So my mind was always wondering. I thought, no, meditation doesn't work for me. But I said, why not trying? Actually, I started uh, last year since the pandemic because I was feeling hopeless and also I was struggling with a lot of anxiety, fear and all the bad feelings. So yeah, I started with five minutes. Uh, it was quite hard for me because I couldn't focus on anything. But thanks to the guided meditation that I was following was easier and by the time you are going to see that even five minutes or two minutes are not enough. 
and then you are going to stretch the meditation time that you want to spend. So if you start focusing on your breath, maybe the easiest way is to lay down and to place your hands on your stomach, on your belly, <laughs> and then just, just see how your belly is moving when you're inhaling and exhaling and you will be on the momentum of wow i'm breathing and we normally forget the fact that we are always breathing we are not very mindful of that action just to let you know meditating is a practice you are not going to start with 20 minutes meditation you can start with two minutes five minutes and then again stretch the time that you want to spend meditating and if you want to start meditating find your motivation why you're doing this as i said before i started meditating because i was feeling anxious i was hopeless all the bad feelings and negativity was in my head and i wanted to get rid of it so i started to meditate little by little so five minutes every day and then i can go up to 15 minutes at the moment so yeah maybe the reason why you want to start meditating is because you want to feel less anxious or less stress or maybe you just want to relax and my experience after meditating 30 days in a row i'm going to be honest I wasn't really consistent when I started meditating. Maybe sometimes it was like one day yes, one day no, and no, 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 yes, <laughs> something like this. And I said, okay, I need to, I need to change. I, I cannot be this inconsistent in my life. So I started to meditate again, five minutes, five minutes, and then up to 10 and 15 minutes. I could do this 30 days challenge of meditation. And this is how I felt. So my experience at the beginning, I had no patience. I had no patience. I was well, laying around or sitting around in, with my cross leg position. And I was like, thinking about something else I don't know and I wasn't focusing on, at all maybe because I live in an apartment near to the train station and there's always noise around so what I did is to have my earphones on and just to listen to the voice of the guided meditation of the app and it changed a lot it changed a lot I was following the steps that the app was saying and it was easier so basically i think i wouldn't be able to do a meditation without the app maybe i can do it with the music but i need the app <laughs> otherwise my mind can wonder about everything and after these 30 days meditation i can say that my patience improved a lot so now i'm like more relaxed just going with the flow and yeah i'm feeling less anxious less stressed and just thinking that i can tell the difference between when i started meditating every day and the person that i am today and people were telling me that my mood changed I was feeling less anxious and less worried about everything. I wasn't overthinking. I can say that my mood changed a lot. And also I feel less triggered by anything. I feel less triggered by any noise or anything that can bother me very easily. After 30 days meditating, I find very hard to be focusing on breathing or on my breath our mind is not made to go blank and not thinking about anything our mind is always thinking about something it is thinking about the lunch that you are going to make uh, your grocery what you gonna pay for the rent or anything your mind can think about anything that's okay i was feeling guilty because i was thinking i'm not doing this right but actually it's your mind your mind is made to think 
So the most important thing is that you can refocus again on your breathing meditation, in this case, on your meditation or anything. Important thing here is refocusing. If, if your mind is wandering, just refocus, rethinking, refilling. <laughs> and again, after 30 days meditation, I would say, and I would recommend, don't meditate if you want to just to tick the box. Do it because you have a motivation. Do it because you are feeling so anxious or I don't know. Sometimes I was feeling guilty of, oh my God, I'm so tired from work. I don't have any motivation to do it. In the morning I'm so sleepy, I cannot meditate, otherwise I would I would sleep again. Don't feel bad of not meditating for one day, but be aware of the consequences. Maybe that day you will be, you are triggered by something and then you will be anxious and worried and stressed and stressed out and everything. It's okay to take a break. That's what I did. So after 30 days, I finished meditating and I took a break and actually yeah I was feeling more anxious and I knew that I wanted to meditate again and yeah I'm going back on track and that's good. Don't meditate just to tick off the box because otherwise there's no point to meditate at all. Meditation is a habit that you need to build. So it's a practice that you need to start slowly and then you can stretch the period of time. So the main takeaway from this video is recommending anyone to meditate, to start meditating because apart from the health benefits, it's good for your mental health. It's also a way for self-care and it can help you to be more present. So that's it for today. I hope you have more motivation to start meditating. Do you have any other tip to make meditation a habit? I hope you like this video. If so, like this video and also feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to see my next videos. I hope to see you soon. Bye!